Today is Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, August 20th. Okay, so we have the moon in Pisces energy here all day. We just shifted into this Pisces energy after we reached that full moon peak potency in that Aquarius energy last evening. So of course, with the moon in Pisces energy, we are wrapping things up. We are resting, we are reevaluating, we're kind of moving into imaginary land, to la la land, we are healing, we're transforming our inner realm of emotions. And because we are kind of wrapping up this particular energetic cycle, again, the full moon in Aquarius providing us with insight, with understanding on situations, on circumstances that have already come to pass. We are also still in the reverberatory effect of this full moon energy. So emotions, headspace, definitely still very intense. We're still feeding off of the Saturn square Jupiter aspect that took place under that full moon peak potency as well, which means that we have a lot of releasing, a lot of purging, a lot of, let's just call it reframing to do in order for us to release this particular energetic cycle and prepare to start fresh when the moon moves into Aries energy. Side note, we're moving into the Aries energy with the moon on the very last day of Leo season. And so again, we're nearing the end, the final degrees of this Leo energy, which means that there's an intensity of the heart space as well. We will be moving into Virgo energy here on the 22nd, and that is going to be a forward movement on what we have to do, what we have to rearrange, what we have to restructure, what we have to build, what we have to create. So this particular day with the moon in Pisces, and again, it is a moon day, seeing as there's only six different aspects taking place in all six are involving the moon, we have to wrap things up. We're putting the pieces together. We're tying up the loose ends. We are definitely reframing the karmic chapters that we're moving away from and that we are anxiously anticipating to jump into. So we're going to kick the day off with the moon in Pisces energy, making a positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. So, of course, that's trying to get us on the right path. It's trying to show us where it is that we need to go, need to grow, need to heal, need to repair from here. It is definitely putting us in a situation to, again, move into La La Land to really kind of capture a goal, a vision, a dream that looks good, that feels good. We're starting to put the pieces together on how it is that we could actually move forward. Forward. And again, realizing what we have to let go of, what we have to come to terms with, what we have to accept in order to actually move on. The moon is then going to semi-square Chiron, the wounded healer who was retrograde in Aries energy. This is definitely going to bring up a lot of the feels, a lot of the fears, a lot of the doubts, a lot of the insecurities that we're currently having, a boat pushing forward, a boat moving on, a boat what we want to build, what we want to create. That Chiron energy is, of course, our new version of self, how we're seeing ourselves, how we feel about ourselves. And the moon in Pisces is very sensitive. We're picking up on subtle energies, not only in the environment that we're with, but from the people that we are choosing to share time, energy, and space with as well. But in our inner realm, where we're trying to kind of, again, come to a certain term of acceptance with events gone by and build ourselves up to be inspired, to be motivated, to push through these particular obstacles and challenges of trying to initiate a new path we're getting a little bit down on ourselves that's okay that's going to illuminate where it is that we have to kind of you know boss up where it is that we have to do better where it is that we have to be better and where it is that we have to start seeing ourselves from a much more positive light the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who, of course, is in Taurus energy. We love Pisces energy and Taurus energy working together because whatever it is that we can dream of, whatever it is that we're imagining, whatever creative spark we can actually align with with the moon in Pisces, we're able to bring it light to life through the Taurus energy. Because Uranus brings new insights, because he changes our mind, because he gives us light bulb moments, aha moments, epiphanies, we're definitely going to start realizing where a major change, a major transformation, especially in our physical realm, is needed. Now, again, that Taurus energy is a fixed Earth sign, so there is a little bit resistance to some of those changes. But karmically speaking, we know we're at the precipice. We know we're at a cusp of needing to do things differently in order to move on. 
The moon is then going to semi-square Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde in this Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggles between old version of self and new version of self, between the old ways of doing things and the new ways of doing things. And of course, doing a deep dive in our psyche to understand the programming, the conditioning that our unconscious self has been operating under, this is going to intensify the not so good thoughts, the not so good feelings for good reason though. We have to sit in the funk we have to sit in the darkness we have to sit in our emotions in our headspace of what we are no longer wanting to experience in order to create a framework on what we would prefer to experience instead even more than that it's setting us up for a beautiful interaction when the moon in pisces energy comes up to teams up with bumps into saturn the lord of karma who is retrograde in this pisces energy so again a conjunction is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. This is going to help us emotionally release a lot of those karmic emotions that have been very much weighing us down. The Saturn energy is about us bossing up to new roles, to new responsibilities, to new karmic chapters. It is also putting again into the past the stagnant, heavier emotions that we have been struggling to actually release, to actually let go. The last thing that we have going on here today, because again, very short day in the cosmos, the moon is going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who of course is in Gemini energy. This is feeding off of the Saturn-Jupiter square, which of course is feeding off of the full moon in Aquarius, which of course that is feeding off of the Mars and Jupiter conjunction that we experienced last week. So of course, Jupiter usually brings the hype, usually brings the confidence, usually brings the optimism, but this is a square, which means that we're having a couple of growing pains. We're understanding where it is that we're, again, essentially needing to wrap up an old karmic chapter, come to a certain term of acceptance with situations and circumstances that have already come to past, and integrate that as a life lesson. Pluck out those silver linings. Really show us where it is that some of those tough love life lessons had to happen in order to prepare us for the trajectory, the path, the direction that we are currently debating on actually taking. Again, we're on the fence in that Gemini energy. So this particular square is going to highlight the tension, the conflict, especially emotionally speaking, where we're having a hard time letting go of some of those old stagnant emotions, because we do understand that once we kind of close this particular chapter, it's up to us to be the creator of our realm, of our reality. 